So you've just finished scrolling a TikTok and or Facebook and you're seeing all these wonderful pictures of the Northern Lights and now you've come to YouTube for answers and I've got your answers right here. I'm going to one-up the pictures that you see and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get awesome time lapses with your GoPro of the Northern Lights. I've been fortunate. The last five nights in a row the Northern Lights have been out over top of the lake here and I've been able to adjust and change up my settings every night and each night they're getting better and better and I think I finally have it pinpointed. So let's talk about it. Let's get into some of the settings for this. Okay, so the very, very first thing we want to do is head over to time lapse and we're going to see a setting here called Northern Lights. Now that's not there already. I made that and it's one of the saved presets, which is something pretty cool about the GoPro Hero 13. You can set all kinds of presets and you can actually save the names and that's pretty sweet. I think you could do this with the 12, but you needed to use the app and that's garbage. So we're going to head into the settings on this Northern Lights. And what we want to do is a video format. Now that's just going to make it a lot easier to just do a quick post onto social. Framing 8.7, so we have room to play. We can run the 16 by 9 aspect for videos like this YouTube video, or we could run a 9 by 16 for TikTok. We could pull that all out of the 8.7. Resolution 5.3, 5.3K is the best, so we're going to use the best because it's better than the rest. Digital lens wide because it's a big beautiful sky. We want to capture it all. And now this is the part where we can start to play with things. So what I found over the last five days, I was trying all these different settings to play with it and see what I could get. I had some rather awful banding and that was with the ISOs. I figured I fixed that and I'll get to that in a minute. So we'll start with the interval. Interval will be auto. Leave it at auto. Don't do 20 seconds, auto's a little bit quicker. Shutter speed 15 seconds, I've played with 30, I've played with 10, 15 is the sweet spot for me. Scheduled capture, that's going to remain off because we don't need a timer on it. You could run that if you want, but I'm not going to. Duration, no limit, so we want to record all night. Now something with the GoPro is everybody knows that there is battery issues. I could run this and it, it would run, at the 30 second shutter I would get about 25 seconds of video which is maybe half of the night not very good but GoPro has this sweet battery connection here it's just a magnetic thing like that it clips on and you get charged and it's waterproof so you don't have to worry if it starts to rain while you're fast asleep you can sleep with ease so that's a pretty cool option I like that GoPro has as well so we're gonna run her all night I run a three second timer just so that when I, I hit the button you have three seconds before the camera starts up and then you don't get any camera shake off of there. Zoom to one. And here's the Pro Tune stuff is where we want to play. So the best white balance I found was the 4000K. It seemed to be the right hue for the green and pink lights that we get. Looks good to me. I'm not going to mess with that. Now this part's pretty important and it made quite a difference with the overall look of my final videos and that's the ISO. So I found a few videos that said do the ISO from one minimum to 800 maximum. I saw some that said leave it at 800 on both. I found that I got a lot of bad banding when I had it from one to 800 and you can see that in this image here. If you look around the lights, you're getting this really weird banding. There's these layers that reach out into the stars and it just doesn't look very good. So I found most of the bounding to be gone when I ran it from 800 to 3200 max. Anything over 3200 max started to look super noisy. So this is where I found the best. That with a low sharpness and a medium denoise. Natural color giving it the right pop. And of course, if you change anything and want to rename it, you just hit save as and you're good. So after five days of experimenting, this turns out to be my pro tune and feel free to use it. And this is what you get out of the final product.
Now, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button and maybe even give that subscribe button a smack. I greatly appreciate the support. I'm the Jaunting Ape and the world is yours.